Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Reese's 400 for our, for our first night race of the year at Richmond. Let's take a look at our starting lineup. In row one on the pole, we're going to have the 92 car, Leo Rogers, and the number one of Chase Cuthbert. Row two, we're going to have Jake Rogers, Austin Waldrop. Row three is Matt Kemp, Reggie Gala. Row four is Gavin Royston, Curtis Potter. Row 5 is Wyatt Morgan, Anna Lloyd. Row 6, Christian Baker, Nick Glisterman. Row 7 is Jackson Irving, Ben Lloyd. Row 8, Jeremy Caronius, Connor Brenton. Row 9, Ken Johnson, Gavin Royston, Keegan Royston, excuse me. Finally, rounding out the field in row 10, it's going to be Dylan Schwallenberg in the 33. Sorry if you're some crunching and stuff in the background, I'm eating Pringles. So... Yeah. Stale Pringles. They're not that stale. They're a little stale. But. We, we have no in-race reporter today. Should be a pretty good race here at Richmond. I, I haven't tested Richmond out with the, um, uh, with the new, with the 2011 S-Mod yet. So, I think we're in for a pretty exciting show today. Sorry about the late upload for California. Um, it didn't, for some reason, I right, overnight it didn't work. Then when I uploaded it before I went to school, for some reason at school it didn't work. And then, finally, it's now uploading now. I get home from school and I hope it'll upload so I can upload this one overnight. So, yeah. Did I already say no English reporter? I don't know. I think so, but if I didn't, there's no English reporter for today's race. Because one reason is I don't have my phone up here with me. And so, yeah. So, let's accelerate time. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That was perfect timing, too. I, oh, the decelerate, my mouse was swerving up the screen, and I barely got down to hit decelerate with 20 seconds left to the command. But now, we've seen 50 yellow seconds go away. So we're now waiting on the command. Let's go trackside. Drivers, start your engines. Well, there it was. Command has been given. The engines are fired. And 19 NASCAR Sprint Cup race cars are about ready to go racing at Richmond. They're about ready to go night racing for the first time of the season. As you can see, the banking is not very big here at Richmond. That could result... And some pretty, pretty tight racing here. So you see the field. Man, that pink car of Anna Lloyd really stands out, doesn't it? Like I said, last race, if it's up, um, Anna Lloyd is racing the pink car for the rest of this race for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we are about ready to go racing here at Richmond. The green flag flies. We are underway. Round 11 of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series is green. As you can see, as they race into turn number one, Jake Rogers has got the lead right now, it looks like. What you see as all the cars dive into turn one. They're three wide for the lead. That was your first lap. You're still three wide for the lead. That's going to be Kemp on the far inside getting first place. As he is your current leader. Oh, man, contact! A lot of contact there. That one I saw was juggling all over the place. Jeez, oh, the five get the trouble! Maybe, yes! A pretty big wreck in the back here. Several cars involved. The one, Chase Cuthbert, got the worst of it. Let's take a look at that crash on the replay. We saw him, but he was juggling all over the place. Let's watch it from TV1. As it all started at the beginning of this lap, actually. Alright, this is about when it starts. 
See, the 92 car here is going to get into the one. He's going to go down, hit Jake Rogers, then hit Anna Lloyd. Then the five comes in. Now there's still three wide here. Now the one tries squeezing his way in there, but he can't. Contact with the one and the five. More contact. The one hits the two. Hits the one. Just juggling all over the place. The 29 got a pretty big lick there. So the 47 of Ben Lloyd, the 9, the 18 involved. So let's take a look at the cars involved. Connor Brenton, Wyatt Morgan, Ben Lloyd, Nick Listerman, Leo Rogers, Curtis Potter, and Chase Cuthbert. So that's 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7 cars involved in that crash. But, uh-oh, I see smoke. It's Aniloid. Aniloid is up in smoke right now. Man, she was running second, too. Oh, that pink car pulls into the pits, and we will not see Aniloid for the rest of the day. This pace switch is still on, so I'm going to accelerate. See, we're on lap six now. Seven. Eight. Now, oh, perfect timing. We're back. We're about to go back into the green. See the 29 there, right up next to the 78. He is one lap down. As green flag again. We're racing again at Richmond. As now Royston. Oh man, he was looking pretty good there. So did Ben Lloyd retire too? Oh my goodness! Lots of cars retired from that accident. Ben Lloyd and Lloyd, um, I'm trying to think who else. I'll check back in a minute, but we have a new leader, and it's Gavin Royston. As he dives off into turn number one, Jake Rogers, oh, he's right there. Uh-oh, I just saw some smoke. We are still under green, though. As you can see, there's Keegan Royston trying to win two in a row. Keegan and Gavin Royston challenge for the lead. Uh oh, look at the 92 car. He has got he's got a donut on the side. Let's see if he can still though muster out a pretty good finish. He's still in this lead pack here. There's Cala. There's your field. As you, as, you, as you can probably tell, that wreck knocked out quite a few cars. There's still smoke from it. There's Matt Kemp, who was your leader at the time of the caution. And also won the race back to the line. He's going to look low on Rogers, but we have a battle up front for the lead. It's Keegan and Gavin Royston. Keegan on the 39, Gavin in the 5. That's who, man. Keegan, meanwhile, takes the lead. The 78 almost went and turned the 92. Man, well, they've been pretty clean since the restart. They haven't really been double wide that much. But the 39's going to slide up the banking contact between the two Royston brothers. Yes, Gavin's going to look to the inside of Keegan. Meanwhile, the Rogers brothers also mixing it up. Do you see Leo on the inside in the white 92? As Leo has got one banged up race car, but he is still in fourth place. Oh, I forgot to mention that there are 40 laps around Richmond. As it looks like Jake's going to look to the inside on Leo! Contact! Leo almost went around there. He got very loose, you saw. So I him go down the racetrack and then back up almost into Jake again. But he saved it and we're still under the green flag. He didn't even lose a spot. As you see, Martin C. Callum, they have dropped back from that pack. Now Jake's going to look on, look to the inside of Leo here again. Can he do it without turning him? As Leo's definitely got position, Jake rather, excuse me, has got position. Oh, see, Cal there almost came up 
and got into the 92, so Cattle's been fighting a very loose race car. As the 92 is dropping back. As you can see, the, tw well, the 24 is a lap down. No, we're at the end of the lead lap. As look at Matt Kemp there on the 78. He's been very thirsty for a win lately. He's come very close. Was, he came very close at Auto Club. He led a lot of the laps there. And now it looks like he's Royston's going to lead this lap, but the chances are he will not lead another one after this one. Kemp to the inside. And Kemp is Kemp and Royston battling for the lead. Matt Kemp is going to take the inside spot. New leader. And it is Matt Kemp. Guys, look at the 92. He's dropped all the way back to behind the 18 in 8th position. Oh! Trouble! What happened there? There was almost a wreck there. Definitely some contact between the 78 and the 5. Let's see now. 78 had the lead. Then the 39 there. See Keegan Oyster in the 39 has position on him. There's Gavin in the 5. Gavin gets into him there a lot like what we saw with the 92. It's almost exactly like what we saw with the 92. Because they're very close again to touching. But Camp's got a little bit of space. Keegan Royston trying to win two races in a row. As now it looks like Keegan, or Gavin rather, excuse me. Oh, he didn't actually make the pass there, but he is still there on that inside line. And Matt Kemp s slips up the racetrack. And the new second place car is Gavin Royston. So Keegan Royston is first, Gavin Royston is second. As it's still Keegan with the lead. Coming around now, Keegan Royston will lead lap 23. Ooh, almost some contact here between the 2 and the 48. Ooh, they almost got together there. Well, at least in the corner, not on the back stretch. As ooh, they're side by side. The 48 and the 2 car, that's Monty Kell and Jake Rogers battling for 3rd. Well, that's 4th, excuse me. But Jake Rogers has won that battle, and now Connor Brenton is going to look to the inside of Sikala. That's there, you see the 92. He actually has passed the 83 car now. I was looking to pick off the 48 of Martin Sikala. That's the key to this track, really, is just picking them off one by one. As he's got the inside line, maybe. Definitely, the 92 car is on the move. That's Leo Rogers. So he'll pass the Cala. That time by, he was sixth to cross the line. As now he's going to get passed by Cavoni, as it looks like. Let's check on our leader. It is still Gavin Royston. Keegan, though, has definitely closed the gap, though. And now he's going to lose the two spots that he gained. Leo Rogers we're talking about here. So he'll get passed on the inside here by Sikala, probably. And yes, he will. Sikala, there you saw in the blue car. There's, your, there's a battle for the lead now between the two Roystons. As they're coming up on a lap car, it's Nick Listerman in the 29. As Keegan Royston just accelerates by him. But that will definitely close the gap for Kemp to come and make a move. Now Jackson Irving is coming up. He is He's on the lead lap, but he's about to go one lap down. Nick Listerman that you just saw in the 29 car, he is now two laps down. But there you see the 24. He is, he is on the back stretch, and he is, um, uh, he's, he's about to go a lap down here. As who, almost maybe some contact there between the 18 and two. As you can see, how much that the, that number 29 car slowed, the 18.
Because now we'll look at the battle for the f for first. As they're both going to go to the inside of Irving. And Irving is now one lap down. But ja Gavin is trying to catch Keegan and pass him. But, man, you can see him there. Their nose to tail. Gavin's got position. We're side by side here. Less than 10 laps to go. Gavin to the inside of Keegan. A three wide trouble. Trouble on the back stretch. I don't know if we're under caution though. Oh man, some more contact between the 83 and the 2. We're looking farther back in the pack here. I just saw the 2 car go into the wall. We are not under caution. You guys probably did not see it though. Let's check it out. What happened to the 2? As you can see, we the 3 wide to get bunched up. The 2 is to squeeze. 18 got into the wall there. They're lucky. That no car, that no other cars were there. Otherwise, that would have been a pretty big crash. Let's go back up front, though. Is there his first? Right there, there you're looking at the five car. Gavin Riston, he is in first. The 39 behind him, his brother Keegan, he is in second. Keegan won last race. See if he can make it two in a row. Again, if you win a race. You guarantee yourself a spot in the All-Star Race. So far, I think there are eight drivers locked in. There's contact between the 24, the 83. They almost went up into the wall. As it's the five, the five with five to go, he's still your leader. Five laps to go for Gavin Royston. Can he do it? Again, if caution flies... It'll be a race back to the line for the win. As the 18 is going to go by the 2 here. There's been a lot of contact in these final 10 laps. I saw the incident between the 18, 92, and the 2. As we could have a lead change here. Keegan has caught up to his brother Gavin. With three to go, Keegan slides up the hill, and that's going to allow Gavin to get a little bit of room. But Matt Kemp is just sitting there quietly back in third. I don't think he really has much of a hope to catch up, but now Ke Ga Gavin slides up the hill. Two laps to go. Can Gavin Royston do it? As 39 avoided sliding up that time, they're here on the back stretch. As cars are slow under caution. It's going to be a race back to the line. Oh, it was one. Ugh. Gavin Royston takes the white flag under the yellow flag. And I think he'll end up winning this race at Richmond. We'll take a look at the accident after we have been assured that the five car has won. As you see the pace car there, the five trying to get to the front of that pacing line. As we are on the final lap. Now, whoa, Nick Listerman almost went around there. Looks like it was a pretty big accident, though, judging by the screech marks. And is that the end of the race? So it looks like the race might be over here. You can see all the cars one lap down. That is a lot of cars. So we are almost done here, and I think we are done. Yes, Gavin Royston is your official winner. So now let's take a look back at the wreck.
See when the caution lights came on. Alright, now let's see when these lights went on. And the stick. Alright, now. Alright, now they're on. Oh! The two cars completely backwards. So it was two on the 83. 92 also involves. And now let's take a look at this here. This is this looks harmless right now. Then they both slide up, the two gets into the 92. And they then Sorry if you just heard some background noise there, guys. My sister's being a pest. Then the 983 car. It looks like the 92 made the initial turn. They both got together. 33 also involved. So, there's your race for today. Thanks for watching. And, yep. The points are still the same as they were last week. Curtis Brown of Jimmy Cavone is Leo Rogers, Jake Rogers, Matt Kemp, Austin Waldorf, Gavin Royston, Nick Listerman, Dylan Schwallenberg, and Jackson Irving. Make sure to join us next week when we head to Lowe's Motor Speedway. Actually, we have nine cars locked into the All-Star Race. Yeah, so the winner of Lowe's will be the final car to get locked into the All-Star Race. Thanks for watching, and make sure to join us at, at Lowe's and the All-Star Race. Goodbye.